So we've just come in the Sydney CBD and we're at Central Station at the moment because Anne wants to see her Thai town. So Central Station is the main train station here that you come into in the Sydney CBD. And there you can see all the train times up there as well if you need to get around anywhere. But we're gonna go for a walk down to Thai town now. So off we go. Sydney also has a light rail, so from Central Station you can catch the light rail and that's what this lineup of people are for. And um, the light rail takes you all through Sydney CBD, right down the circular quay. So if you don't want to walk over there and you just want to catch the light rail, then yes, you can catch it. But we're going to walk because where we're actually going is only a short distance from Central Station down to Chinatown. So it's not too far to walk. So that's what we're off to do. So we're just walking up Sydney here. It's interesting coming back and seeing all the light rail completed here. A lot of it was still under construction when I left. And um, my mum and dad tell me it's, yep, you can catch this all the way down to Circular Quay now. And a lot of people do just hop on and off because they can't be bothered walking the whole way. And so we're just walking up the Thai town, which is just up here on the left, apparently. And Chinatown and the markets are down behind us. St. Peter's Julian Catholic Church. Oh, it's a very multicultural area here. This is what we're looking at. Sydney CBD. So this is what the light rails look like in Sydney CBD here. You can catch these all over the Sydney Business District. Easy way to get around. So let's walk up and try and find this Thai town. Here's an Irish pub here, but it's this way. So apparently, Thai town is this street somewhere. <laughs> so? Yeah, restaurants. Well, you got Korean chicken, <laughs> tobacco station. I don't know what exactly it. What? Oh yeah. Ah, Kosan Road. <laughs> so they've named an area Kosan Road. I wonder if they know what is actually in Kosan Road in Bangkok. It's like a bunch of nightclubs there. Ah. Ah, okay. And what's a photo? All it said was come down here. This one, Kosan Ah. Oh, there you go. Anne's just pointing out Thai snacks in this street. Oh, so it's directly coming down from Central Station into this street. Oh, here you go. Thai street food. What have we got here? Asian grocer. I think Anne wanted to shop in there, but there doesn't seem to be much in. Yep. Oh. What? Maybe you can get your Isan sauce in here. Neol. So there's another sort of Thai restaurant. Let's keep going. There's a market starting soon. The Metro Hotel Marlow. So Central Station is just where we walked down from, but here we're on Campbell Street. You got the Chamberlain Hotel, and you've got Thai restaurants along here. You got Thai Dessert Corner, Australian Ballet, and um, so yeah. So there's a few things in this street. Not much though, but yeah, there's a few Thai things here. So that's good. They're actually making some different cultural things here dedicated to the various Asian groups. Yeah, I suppose we'll just take a bit of a walk then, won't we? Look around. Capitol Theatre. Uh, I've been in there a few times. Beautiful old theatre. And you can see some great shows in there. I don't know what's... There's a sort of Alice in Wonderland show going on there at the moment. Looks pretty cool. Anyway, we're hunting for food. So let's go looking. 
So Anne's finding more things here, like an um, Asian supermarket. Leek therapeutic massage. Another sort of Asian supermarket. So yeah, right opposite the Capitol Theatre, there's a few um, Thai food places. Three different herbs. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, Thai town. Let's see, it's all cooking ingredients. Now, of course, the Asian vegetables are going to be potentially more expensive. A few fo frozen things. Have everything. Yeah. I think all your sauces. Are you after? She just got excited. She found all her sauces that she needs. <laughs> that she can't get in Penrith, where we are. Apparently, Anne's saying this one's quite popular, so she wants to give it a try. Uh, and um, So we're going to check it out. Oh yeah, nice setup inside. Let's go check it out. Well, got to find a table for two though, which I think they're directing us to. <laughs> so because you guys often like to see where we're eating, there seems to be a variety of things here on the menu. Anne's already found her... Um, so this is Australian dollars. Again, here you go. Seeing some of the prices here. This place. Curries and soups. Seeing some prices. More prices here. So yes, a lot of options here that I'm seeing on the menu. Seafood options as well. Noodles. I'm just going to say it's a big menu, so I'm not going to go through it all. <laughs> So Thai Town itself is like a five minute walk, less than a five minute, probably a five minute walk from Central Station and you've got a range of restaurants here, Asian groceries and um, yeah, to get all your different things that you want, that is Thai. And it's right next to the Capitol Theatre too, so if you're trying to look for a landmark here, look for the Capitol Theatre. Um, near Central Station, but Central Train Station is your closest train station. You're going to need to come to get here. So Anne got her papaya salad, but look at this. This is a papaya salad in Sydney CBD. So we're giving this a try. So Anne's also ordered the crispy pork dish, it looks like. It's like a sort of co-pow crispy pork. Equivalent. So I've ordered this soup dish here. It's quite tasty and um, yes so I'm gonna try this I'm just gonna say the food is absolutely delicious here if you're in Thai town this um, chat Thai I think it's called isn't it honey chat Thai yeah it's an absolutely delicious restaurant give this place a drive you out for some authentic Thai food okay so the price of those three dishes and we just got water, table water we didn't get anything else was $60.60 so that's Australian dollars here for our three dishes, our papaya salad, our kopow crispy pork, and my noodle duck soup that I actually got. And I suppose that's reasonable for Sydney prices, but we might walk over towards Chinatown now and down to the markets. Okay, change of plans. We're catching the light rail up to the Opera House, our circular key area. So let's jump on the light rail. <laughs> So we're just getting on the light rail now. Got the circular key. We have to use our Opal card to actually tap. And had some idea that these were free and I went, no, nothing's free here. You've got to actually pay. So yes, yeah, so we've arrived in um, circular key here. So nice cheap flight. Oh, not cheap flight, cheap tram ride. And yeah, there's tourist shops over there. McDonald's there, if that's what you're after. And we're gonna walk over and Go to the opera, opera House now. 
and just to show Anne around Circular Quay here. So let's go exploring. Yeah, so it looks like they've got one of the big cruise ships in town today. There's Sydney, Op Sydney Harbour Bridge. You've got all the ferries here as well. And if you're going to catch a, go across to Manly or you want a cheap harbour cruise, then catch the ferries from here. Super cheap. Let's keep exploring. So, yeah, we're just walking around to um, the Opera House. I look at these big buildings here. These apartments. Freaking lots of them. But they've got a spectacular view at the end of the day. If you look at it, you've got the Ambassador Cruise Liner over there. Harbour Bridge. And you've got those fast boats, which you can catch as well. If you want a quick spin around the harbour at high speed. But yeah, look at that cruise ship. So yes, now we're just walking up to the um, Opera House. I keep looking at these cruises. Definitely got to go on one one day. Just beautiful. Look at this. You've got the fast boat going there. You've got the um, Sydney Ferry in front of the cruise ship. Going across there, iconic thing of Sydney. A lot of histor history behind those ferries. But yes, very beautiful. So we've got off at the Queen Victoria building here in Sydney. And we're just going to go exploring some shopping area over here. So let's go check out what Anne, Anne's wanting to look at. It's pretty busy here today because it is a Saturday. But let's go shopping. So we got off at Queen Victoria building, walked down to Centrepoint Tower here. You've got Westfields here. You've also got Maya here. And down here is a place where you come if you're doing a lot of clothes shopping in Sydney CBD. Because there's a lot of selection here. There is a food court in here as well. And there's a lot to see. So let's go through and check it out. So here we are in this um, sort of shopping district area here of Sydney. Short walk from Queen Victoria building. But if you're after clothes of any sort, sort of thing, um, or jewellery and items like that, and you got multi stories of buildings on both sides of us here where you can buy all sorts of things from uh, clothes items to food to yes you name it they have it here in a way but we're going in and checking out zara because that's where Anne wants to have a look at the moment so of course in this westfield sort of thing got a lot of different items levels here of shops a lot of different brands so all your brand name stuff's going to be found in here as well and um, there is a H&M here we just found. But, yes, let's keep walking around. Yeah, and I'm not going to film all this place because it's just too many bloody levels to film, really. If you want food, clothes, anything, branded stuff, you're going to get it all in this area. That's all I'm going to say. So, of course, you do get live music, but today it seems to be like a rapper of some sort. So yes, we went through Maya, we then went underground, <laughs> and then come up through Queen Victoria building where we are now. There's a lot of little cafes and snack places here, as well as a lot of branded items and various jewellery and clothes that you can get things in here. But let's keep walking. So we're deciding to give the Mediterranean Fusion a go here, um, which is a few levels up, nearly the second. One level from the top here. And so we're gonna check the menu out here. But they also do have a nice range of cakes here, I must admit, that you can choose from. So we got ourselves a little passion fruit cheesecake here. I got myself a cappuccino and I'm just waiting on a ham and cheese croissant. And here I ordered the ham and cheese croissant. A bit of tomato on it as well. Quite a large croissant, so I'm gonna enjoy this. So the ham and cheese croissant here was quite nice. Nice large size croissant. And their cheesecake with the passion fruit was very nice, I must say. And the cappuccino, good coffee here. And though I haven't hit the price yet, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be over $30 what we ordered. Cheesecake, croissant, and coffee. Just guessing there. 
but let's see what the bill looks like because Queen Victoria building tends to be a bit more pricey than other places in Sydney when you're eating out. So we've just walked down from the Queen Victoria building, had a nice snack and we're walking back down to Thai Town just to buy a few cooking ingredients that Anne's after here and then we're heading home today. So we decided to skip Chinatown in the markets today and um, yeah, and just take a general walk and explore and just generally relax. <laughs> There's a lot of Bible bashers on the um, roads here today. There's either people preaching Islam or and saying you're evil if you don't go um, worship Islam or you've got Christians saying you're evil if you don't go to Christianity. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing in the streets here. But anyway, we're going to keep walking down. Then for us, it was time to head home. And here's some quick photos of Sydney Harbour where we were. And um, yeah, it wasn't the best day. It was a little bit overcast. There's the Queen Victoria building and um, many other photos of where we went near the shops. And overall, it was a nice relaxing day. And if you like these sort of videos, hit like and please subscribe as I put up more videos.